The discovery of new fossil material of basal members of glas like gomphos has helped to bridge the gap between more typical rodents and lagomorphs. They might have split during the early Eocene. The evolutionary history of the lagomorphs is still not well understood. They were certainly more diverse in the past than in the present and this supposed that they are declining. Neurologus was very large from modern rabbits, its unique traits were most likely the product of an insular environment containing no natural predators. Hares are solitary animals, eating plant material including stripping the bark off tree trunks. They are preyed upon by large mammalian carnivores and birds of prey. The European rabbit has been introduced as an exotic species into several environments, often with harmful results to vegetation and local wildlife, making it an invasive species. However, its decline in its native range has caused the decline of its highly dependent predators. The naked mole rat lacks pain sensitivity in its skin and has very low metabolic and respiratory rates. It can live 32 years. Its longevity has been attributed to protein stability and it have a higher resistance to tumors, although it is likely that they are not entirely immune to related disorders. About 40% of all mammal species are rodents, most of them are small animals with robust bodies, but Histricomorpha contains some biggest rodents. Porcupines are heavily built animals with an inconspicuous tail. The spines on the tail are hollow, and used to make a rattling sound to scare away predators. This species and its close relatives are believed to have originated from southern Asia. Joseph Otagasia is the largest rodent known. It lived in an estuarine environment or a delta system with forest communities and may have eaten soft vegetation. Its bite force was three times as powerful as predicted for modern tigers. Phoboromis was a very large rodent too, but these large forms disappeared after the formation of a connection to North America. The only living member of these giant group is the modest sized Pacarana. The capybara is the biggest living rodent. It's a semi-aquatic mammal found throughout almost all countries of South America. Though quite agile on land, capable of running as fast as a horse, they are equally at home in the water. They are excellent swimmers and can remain completely submerged for up to five minutes, an ability they use to evade predators. Maras has adapted well to a cursorial lifestyle on the open plains and steppe with its long legs, reduced clavicle and well-developed sensory organs making it capable of running and communicating in these open habitats. Tucko tuckos live in underground burrows and have a number of adaptations to suit this lifestyle. Most activity is in the morning with the animal expanding the tunnel to reach the roots and stems on which it feeds. Members of Chinchillidae family like Viscachias and Chinchillas are herbivorous and live in colonies of up to several hundred individuals. Plains Viscachias live in extensive networks of burrows on plains where it is said that 10 Viscachias can eat as much as does one sheep. Mountain Viscachias and Chinchillas live in craggy upland regions where they inhabit crevices among rocks and are skilled climbers. After initial interest into common diggers as research subjects, they have become popular as pets, though until recently they were seldom found in pet shops. Their advantages over traditional small pets are their diurnal habits. 
Originally native to subtropical and temperate South America, it has since been introduced worldwide primarily by fur farmers for its fur. But its destructive feeding and burrowing behaviors make this invasive species' endurance controversial to human occupants throughout most of its range. Ceratogorlus is the only known rodent genus with horns and is the smallest known horned mammal. The role of its horns is subject to much speculation including digging, mating displays and defense from predators. Because the horns were not sexually dimorphic, their role in defense seems most likely. By elevating the head dorsally, the horns would be snapped backward, protecting the areas most commonly attacked by predators. Black-tailed prairie dogs are native to grassland habitats in North America. They have been called ecosystem engineers due to their influence on the biotic and abiotic characteristics of their habitat, landscape architecture and ecosystem function. Durian ground squirrel lives in open plains, it is a colonial species, digging relatively simple burrows which usually have just two entrance holes. In Europe, numbers of red squirrel have decreased drastically in recent years. This decline is associated with the introduction by humans of the eastern grey squirrel from North America. Red squirrels that survive their first winter have a life expectancy of three years. Tamias can climb trees well, but constructs underground nests with extensive tunnel systems, often with several entrances. The name chipmunk comes from the Obage word ajidamu which means one who descends trees headlong. A distinctive feature of flying squirrels is the furry glide membrane, or patagium, a flap of skin that stretches between the front and rear legs. By spreading this membrane, the flying squirrel may glide from tree to tree across distances of over a hundred meters. One possible hypothesis to explain the evolution of the gliding is related to energy efficiency. Gliding is an energetically efficient way to progress from one tree to another while foraging, as opposed to climbing down trees and maneuvering on the ground floor or executing dangerous leaps in the air. The discovery of Paleocaster sprang from the discovery of devil's corkscrews in the plains of Nebraska, as a tree-sized, screw-like underground formation. Its basic form is an elongated spiral of hardened earth material that inserts into the soil as deep as 3 meters. One major difference between the giant beaver and the modern beaver is that the size of its brain was proportionally smaller. As a result, giant beavers may have had inferior interactions in its environment as well as less complex patterns of thoughts and behavior. The ponds created by well-maintained dams help isolate the beavers' homes, which are called lodges. These are created from sever branches and mud. They also build canals to float building materials that are difficult to haul over land. They use powerful front teeth to cut trees and other plants that they use both for building and for food. Beavers, along with pocket gophers and kangaroo rats, are castoromorph rodents, a suborder of rodents mostly restricted to North America. The spring air resembles a small kangaroo with well-developed hind legs, which allows it to leap over two meters in a single bound. They are mostly nocturnal, but are occasionally active in the day. During the daytime, they live in tunnels that they dig. These nocturnal gerboas move through its dry desert habitat in long hops, balancing with the tail. They live in burrows generally excavated under small bushes. It was listed as tied for the smallest rodent in the world. As with many other small mammals, the evolution of the murids is not well known. 
as few fossils survive. They probably evolved from hamster-like animals in tropical Asia sometime in the early Miocene, and have only subsequently produced species capable of surviving in cooler climates. Golden hamster numbers have been declining due to a loss of habitat caused by agriculture and deliberate elimination by humans. Jungarian hamsters are often found on the pet market in Europe and North America. Along with most rodents, they are prone to tumors. In the wild, the Jungarian hamster's fur changes color in the winter to evade predators. Lemmings are found predominantly in tundra or high elevations. Populations can fluctuate widely and mass migrations do take place. This mass migration is probably the source of the myth that lemmings commit mass suicide. Thought to have originated in northern China, brown rat has now spread to all continents except Antarctica, and is the dominant rat in Europe and much of North America, making it by at least this particular definition the most successful mammal on the planet alongside humans. The black and brown rats diverged from other Old World rats during the beginning of the Pleistocene in the forests of Asia. Because of evident displays of their ability to learn, rats were investigated early to see whether they exhibit general intelligence. 